Hello everyone and welcome to MedSox Online AGM. The purpose of this video is to advertise to you all the different committee positions that are available on MedSoc committee for the upcoming elections so that if you're interested in applying for MedSoc you can get a better idea of um, what positions are available and what exactly um, the role entails. Uh, and if you are considering applying hopefully this video will inform you a bit more about things that you can include in your manifesto for your application. Here is a timeline for the video. The purpose of this AGM is not for you to have to sit and watch through all of it, as it is quite a long video. However, the purpose of this timeline is to allow you to skip to the part of the video that talks about the committee position that you are interested in applying for. So the elections will take place in a two-step process. Um, so round one, uh, nominations open today on the 4th of May and they will be closing uh, in a week's time on the 11th of May. And these are for the first five committee positions. So that is President, Treasurer, General Secretary, Welfare Officer, and Ents Officer. So nominations are open for a week starting now, uh, and like I said, close on the 11th of May. Voting then opens on the 13th of May and is open for a week uh, and closing on the 22nd of May. After that, on the 29th of May, after we have the results from round one of the elections, we will open round two. And this is for every other committee position that is available. So, as I said, nominations will open on the 29th of May for them and close on the 5th of June. Voting then opening on the 6th of June and lasting for a week, closing on the 13th of June. So the reason for this two-stage process is to allow people who were unsuccessful in applying in the first round of elections for the first five positions, if they still want to be on committee, uh, they have then have the opportunity to apply for some of the other positions available um, to allow people to have more of a chance to get onto MedSoc committee. So before we begin, I'd just like to say that personally I'm very proud of what we as a MedSoc committee have achieved this year. Uh, and I hope that anyone applying for the positions for next year um, will have as, as amazing time as we did. Um, so just to list a few of the things that I'm, I'm extremely proud of our committee for, this year we raised over £4,000 um, for Nottingham Children's Hospital, our charity of the year. Uh, we made great steps towards improving inclusivity within MedSoc. Um, we've elected our first ever BME rep this year, and we've worked very hard to make our events much more inclusive for our student body. We've held the most, the highest attended winter ball over the past five years, uh, and it was a truly spectacular night, and I'm sure that anyone who attended would agree. We've also helped and worked with Lincoln Medical School, who are brand new this year, to help them establish their first ever MedSoc, which has been an interesting challenge. Uh, we also won the bid to host the next MedSoc annual conference. So next year, the National MedSoc Conference will be taking place in Nottingham, at Nottingham Medical School. So if you're considering for applying for MedSoc next year, um, that's another great thing that will happen during your year on committee that you'll be able to attend. Uh, and also more recently, as people may have seen, we're very proud to have been able to offer some help to the medical school uh, in getting fourth years into the NHS during COVID-19, into paid um, working roles, and also working with um, the medical school and the one show to enable our fifth years to have a celebratory graduation um, on the BBC's The One Show, which some of you may have seen. So it's been a busy year um, and we've really, really enjoyed it. And I feel like we've achieved a lot and I'm very happy with what we've managed to achieve. Uh, so yeah, on with the AGM. So the role of president on MedSoc is quite a special role in the fact that you have a lot of responsibilities, um, but also the vast variety of things that you see and that you have to do and the skills that you obtain throughout your role as president um, are quite incredible. So what I've learned really from this year is that the role is very much split into two parts. You have the part of your role um, which is responsible for overseeing committee and leading the society. Um, but then the other half of the role is very much an external role, um, which I'll talk a bit about um, in the later half of my discussion about the role of president. But that's a side that you don't really see and that you don't really think about when you're applying. But I think it's important to, to know what the role involves. 
So firstly, um, I'll talk about committee and what it's like to be president of the committee and what skills you need. So I think the main skill really is your leadership ability. So this involves working closely with your committee, making sure that they're happy um, and that they're doing their jobs um, properly. So this can sometimes involve chasing people up if they've missed a deadline or they haven't done their role. Um, luckily enough, I had a great committee this year, so didn't have to do that too much, but it is something that you may have to do as a role as president. Um, but keeping morale high as well, I think, is an equally important role. So keeping people engaged all throughout the year. It is a long year and very busy within the medical school. So keeping people engaged and um, happy with their role on MedSoc committee, I think is equally as important. So in order to do that this year, I organised a committee Christmas dinner, which was a nice way to get everyone together and get everyone out socialising. Uh, we also went to cocktail party as a group in a, in a group costume theme. Um, and also it's the little things like later in the year when you're organising winter ball and halfway ball with your ENTS rep. Um, when you're making decorations and folding napkins and whatever and prepping for the balls, uh, it's nice to get the committee together to all put in and help with that because it keeps everyone engaged, keeps everyone active and, it's, and it is good fun. Um, as well as that, in terms of leadership, uh, it's important that you're accessible to your committee members. Uh, if they have any questions or need any help, that you're there and able to support them. But not only that, it's also about knowing what's happening on committee at all times, really. Uh, obviously, you can't know everything and be everywhere at once, but being in the group chats for all the sort of events that are happening, I think, is important just so that you know what's going on and that if any challenges do arise, that you're aware of them and you can help people overcome them um, when the time comes. So on top of leadership, I think it's really important that you are organised as a president. Um, the yearly calendar for MedSoc is extremely busy with events happening all throughout the year. And while some times of the year can be busier than others, there is always something upcoming and something happening. So making sure that the, uh, the, the order of events is running smoothly and that everyone is comfortable in their positions to um, fulfill these roles, uh, that's very important. Not only that, with organisation, you have to chair and run the MedSoc committee meetings. Um, now, this isn't too difficult because all you really have to do is book a room um, and make sure that you can get everyone together on the same day at the same time, which can be very difficult this committee spans from years one to year five, so everyone has different commitments and different availabilities. But as long as you can get a majority of committee to sit together at least two or three times a term to discuss the upcoming events, um, what's happening within the association, um, I think that's, that's, that's a really important part of president. And the committee meetings are very important um, for the whole committee to allow different committee members to actually see what's going on because everyone has different organisational skills within their own roles, but having the ability for the whole committee to sit down and talk about what's coming up and what's going on is very important to keep everyone involved in what's happening within MedSoc. So that's a bit about the leadership in the organisation. Another key attribute, which I think is an important part of the role of president, is the fact that you need to be quite confident and quite outgoing as well. Uh, as MedSoc president, you will be quite a public face. Uh, you'll have to speak at quite a lot of events. You'll have to stand up in front of lecture theatres to advertise events and talk to people. So being having that little bit of confidence and being able to speak to people is, is important. But not only that as well, but the going to events is important. And it may sound like a silly one, but actually being at the events that your society are organising is is really important. Um, and being there to support your committee members. And I, I've, I've fully enjoyed all the events that we've put on this year. I think they're brilliant and it's, it's so great to be able to go to all of them, but it is another thing that you should consider that you should be committed to be going to all the events. And finally, one of the most important things about being on committee is understanding how to delegate and when to delegate. It can be very easy to take on a lot of responsibilities in this role. Uh, which can become quite dangerous when it comes to managing your studies alongside your commitments to MedSoc. So understanding each individual committee member's 
roles uh, is important so that when you get given a task or something to do, you know who to delegate to um, so that you're not taking on too much. This also involves utilising your vice presidents. They are there to help you when you've got too much on your plate, so don't be afraid to use them as well. The committee member that you'll find yourself working with the most, however, is the treasurer. Lucas and I worked very closely this year, meeting every fortnight to discuss the state of the MedSoc accounts and how we're going to fund upcoming events. Um, so working closely with your treasurer is extremely important, but not only with your committee, but also with the student union. So we're an SU affiliated association and we have um, a development officer in the student union called Una. And she is extremely important in the fact that we meet with, well, so the president and the treasurer uh, meet with her every two weeks or so to go through upcoming events so that the student union can offer support if we need it. And also we can keep them up to date with what we're doing. Um, but that's pretty much everything to do with your responsibilities of committee. So now I'll just talk a quick bit about the external stuff that you don't really think about. So one of the main things really is um, your role at the open days for the university. So as MedSoc president, you'll be asked to prepare a PowerPoint presentation um, outlining what MedSoc is uh, and what we do. And this is to be delivered at the end of the admissions talk um, during the open days. So three times throughout the day, they on the open days, they hold a medicine admissions talk for all the prospective medical applicants, where Director of Admissions Mandy Hampshire will talk for 45 minutes about how to apply, what grades you need, the interview process, etc. You've seen it all before when you've been applying to med school. Um, but as the president, you will have to present with a couple of other committee members if you want, um, a 15 minute presentation at the end of this to a packed out Coates Road Auditorium of 500 plus, um, three times a day on each day of the open days. Um, about MedSoc and what we do, which is really, really enjoyable, but can be quite daunting if you're not used to speaking to large audiences. So just be prepared for things like that. Um, that also carries over as well to offer holder days and interview days, um, delivering talks and advertising the med school and MedSoc is um, an important part of the role. Also externally, um, you find that the role of president is uh, one of the bridges between the student body and the medical school. So you may be contacted by quite a lot of medical school staff um, when it comes to communicating things to the medical student body. As you may have seen recently with COVID, uh, we worked closely with the Dean in order to help them communicate information to students. Uh, but not only that, you may be asked to sit on quite a few committees as well. So for example, this year I, as president, I was asked to sit on the undergraduate admissions committee to make, uh, help make decisions about um, the admissions process for the medical school and the interviews. And not only that as well, but also sitting on the learning community forum um, with all the course reps and senior members of staff as well. So you need to be professional and be expected to step outside of your role on committee to do things within the medical school as well. On top of that, externally, you will have to work with other MedSocs as well. So this will involve you being the point of contact for other medical societies across the country when it comes to organising the MedSoc conference, which will be happening in Nottingham this year. But not only that as well, be expected to work with alumni if possible um, and other external companies and businesses and whatnot, because you will be the main contact point for anyone interested in getting in touch with the medical school student body. So I've talked a lot about the different responsibilities of the role of president um, and I hope it highlights that it is an extremely busy year. You'll be busy all throughout the year, including holidays. Um, you need to be putting in work pretty much all the time in order to keep things moving and keep the society going. However, despite that, it has been the best um, experience that I could have asked for. Um, it's been a huge part of my third year of my life at medical school and I have loved every minute of it and really, really enjoyed working with some amazing people on committee. So it's hugely rewarding. You'll get a massive variety of experiences and develop so many different skills 
that you may not have ever had or may want to build on. So if you're considering applying, um, I'd say it's definitely worth it, but you need to think long and hard about whether it's something that you want to do and you think you can do. Um, but if you've got any questions, please don't hesitate to message me on Facebook or email me at mzycm12 at nottingham.ac.uk. Um, good luck to anyone that applies. Hello, I'm Lucas and I was the treasurer for MedSoc this year. So as treasurer, you will be responsible for the money in MedSoc. So that's the main MedSoc account and also a couple of others, for example, the graduation ball account as well. Um, and over the course of the year, this amounts to tens of thousands, pushing to hundreds of thousands of pounds. And you will be ultimately responsible for what happens to that money. It's not the person that wants to spend that money. It's not the SU, it ultimately falls on your shoulders. So there is a, an element of responsibility in this role, um, but it's not scary at all. There are lots of resources and people to help you um, do all these things. Uh, as treasurer, you'll also probably work very closely with um, your president. I worked uh, quite a bit with Callum this year, having meetings with the SU, for example, um, helping set up um, Lincoln Medical School MedSoc, um, and just generally help organise um, things. And you might also be approached by other meds and subsidiary societies, whether that's with the technicalities of being treasurer or um, asking for money, for example, and you'll be able to access their accounts. You're in a privileged position to be able to do that and you can work with them to um, help them do whatever they want to do. I would say the good characteristics of being treasurer are an appreciation for detail. Um, there are, you probably will get to look through lots of spreadsheets, lots of budgets, um, and it's important to press people for detail and keep pushing for that detail if you're not getting it. Um, and also, obviously, compromising and working with the rest of your committee, but feeling comfortable putting your foot down if something isn't going to work. Um, but like I say, it's about working with people and compromise. Um, and this is all ultimately because, like I said, it is your responsibility and you have to be res uh, you have to be comfortable either making that decision or signing that document because it's it's not really them who's going to fall on, it's going to be you. Um, and therefore, so like I said, it's quite good to be organised, keep on top of things. But yeah, um, as treasurer, I... I've really enjoyed my time. Um, I think it's a really great role. You get to be involved with a bit of everything. Um, you'll be quite an important voice at the table um, and you'll be quite heavily involved with certain things like planning balls, for example. Um, and while these things might seem like a lot of responsibility, the nice thing about Treasurer is that it's all quite evenly distributed throughout the year. So unlike, for example, the balls, they happen at quite discrete times of the year. So that can be quite um, a lot of stress for, for example, the event secretary. Uh, whereas as treasurer, it's quite nice and evenly distributed throughout the year. Um, and yeah, the, the best thing about being treasurer is just being involved with a bit of everything, getting involved with all of the other um, members of the committee and helping them and chipping in wherever you want to, really. I personally wouldn't say there were any downsides to being treasurer, but I've had a bit of a think about this and maybe the level of responsibility or the time commitment, which isn't a great deal, but um, obviously there is time that you've got to commit to this. And also it might feel like nothing is yours. It's not your ball or your social or your freshers fair or welcome fair or anything else you organise throughout the year. Um, but you will be heavily involved with lots of these things. So you might not feel like you get the same, you're not as recognisable as some other members of the committee or you don't get the same level of recognition for the things that you do, um, but it's it's not really an issue. Um, and it's like if you still get involved, then, um, yeah, like I said, it's, it's not a problem. Uh, and But basically, I've had a great time as treasurer and I wouldn't want any uh, different position in, in committee. It's been really good fun and just generally being on MedSoc has been um, 
a great experience and there are so many opportunities that will crop up that you would never have thought of or you would never have been able to do otherwise. And last year I was in two minds whether or not to apply and it was only a last minute decision um, that meant I did and I'm so pleased um, that I did because it's like I said it's been amazing and so if you're in two minds about it I'd just say go for it um, you've got nothing to lose and if you've got any questions at all please get in, in touch with me um, Lucas Burgess and of course I'll be here all of next year as well um, if you need any help with anything I'll be more than happy um, yeah but good luck Hi, my name is Harry and I've been the Medsoc General Secretary for the past year. Being on committee has been a great experience for me and the role of GenSec is one that I would definitely recommend. So, my main role was actually mainly in the summer, planning the Freshers' Fair that takes place in the second week of the new academic year. All medics, societies and sports clubs are invited, as well as some well-known sponsors such as the BMA and the MDU. It is a great showcase for what you can get involved with at medical school, along with loads of freebies and deals from the sponsors. Organising the fair isn't actually as daunting as it seems. You get loads of help from Una and Meg, who are our reps from the SU, and they take care of booking the foyer, the tables and the backboards for the stalls. It will be your job, however, to invite the societies and communicate with the sponsors, as well as making a table plan for the fair. You'd also be there on the day to make sure everything runs smoothly. After the Freshers' Fair is over, your job is pretty smooth running. You'll be in charge of helping organise meetings, booking rooms and taking minutes at the meetings. You'll also be able to help out other committee members with jobs that they need doing. That just about sums up the position of General Secretary. I hope you will consider applying, but if you need any more information, then please send me a message on Facebook. Just search for Harry Halliwell, or you can send me an email to mzyhah at nottingham.ac.uk. Cheers. So, I'm Izzy. Um, I've been the Welfare Officer for MedSoc for the last year, and um, I think it's a great role, and I think that anyone who's interested should definitely apply for it. And... To give a sort of overview of what I've been doing this year, I've been kind of active on socials, just trying to like, you know, give the occasional um, like well-being sort of support post, um, which is quite important at certain times, like holidays and exams, when it can feel quite isolating, I guess, um, and finals, I think, for another one for fifth years. Um, and I've made uh, posters, like kind of signpost, um, people to the right support which I think went down quite well so that's nice and then the main thing with Welfare Officers Welfare Week um, which we renamed this year to Recharge Week um, but you can choose a new name if you want um, and that was just to kind of go over the fact that we're not as MedSoc we're not trained professionals that can provide welfare support but we can provide you know ability to recharge and keep going which is a nice thing to do. Um, and so with Recharge Week, it was a week of events that we held in mid-February. Um, so that coincided quite nicely with um, third year, so our year's vivas. Um, so we did have a bit of time then. And um, but I would recommend that the minute you get into the role to start planning your time, you might want to do it because we were going to do it early Christmas. But things like I think we never really had enough time because you do need a lot of time to get speakers, get events sorted, get store holders and things like that. And I think it's really important that when you do Welfare Week that you have a variety of activities. So we introduced some new ones. We had the pub quiz, which was really well attended this year and definitely went down well. And we kind of, us and the charity, so Arthur, we kind of joined together to make Charity Week and Welfare Week the same thing. So we had lots of um, in like fundraising activities, which were really well attended and went nicely. Um, I'd say that if you were considering to be welfare officer, the things you have to be aware of are you might get people you don't know talking to you about things and just wanting a bit of support and you have to be able to give that support and be quite happy to chat to them even if it's not the greatest time for you, just drop them a message, say hi um, and you need to be aware of what's going on um, so I'm in both the second year and first year chats as well um, and just keep an eye on, you know is there anything that's coming up that we could target as a, from a welfare perspective? So at the moment, I know it's exams and there's a lot of issues around the marking scheme. So we're looking at things like that. Um, and also to be able to prioritise yourself sometimes because you do get a lot of stuff happening and being able to think, actually, I deserve the welfare as well. So especially around welfare week. Um, 
I definitely say that it's a great community to be part of. Um, you get nice stash, which is really good. And um, it's really helpful, especially in welfare for, you know, your future career, I guess, just looking at what you can do to help others, which is what we all want to be as medics. So um, please do drop me an email or a message if you're considering applying. I know a couple of you have already. Um, and yeah, I'm happy to answer and give some support. And hopefully I'll be able to work with you in the future to um, guide you along your way, I guess. So good luck. Hi, I'm Maddie, and I was this year's ENTS rep for MedSoc. So ENTS rep is an amazing role. You get to plan big functions and events across the year, which include the summer party, the winter ball, and the halfway level. Um, it's an amazing role. It's really creative. You get to meet loads of new people. Um, you get the entire control over these events, and so you can do what you want and put your own spin on things. And yeah, it's really cool. Uh, it's also really rewarding. You get a lot of really good feedback from everybody and it's really nice getting messages the next day when people are saying how much they loved it and yeah so the summer party probably won't happen due to corona but it might happen next year um the winter ball is the obviously the biggest event of the medsoc calendar everybody goes it is amazing i think we had about 350 people last year which broke the record for the number of people so it's like increasing every year um really fun so I did you can do whatever theme you want whatever sort of food decorations <clears throat> entertainment literally so, there's so much scope to it it's so much so good so I did a James Bond theme um sort of designed all my own decorations chose what had like designed little mini poker chips it's yeah it's really cool and then halfway there ball is like for a third year probably the biggest thing because it's just before you start placement and it's just a celebration of getting halfway. So in that I did an award ceremony, did like a black and gold theme, had a DJ and yeah, it was really cool. So ENTS rep is really good in the sense that there's a lot of work at two points in the year, but then the rest of the time there's nothing. So it's quite chilled, apart from obviously around Christmas, um, where you have to be obviously very good at organising things, very on top of things, but it fits in well with your work as well so it's not too because around the time you've done your dissertation you're breaking up for Christmas it's quite it's a good time to be planning events um so yeah you kind of need to be sort of some form of creativity quite good at organizing quite good at um thinking of new ideas and thinking of new th fun things because all the balls have been different throughout the whole year so yeah just put your own spin on stuff um um, so I love being on MedSoc. It's been really fun. Um, we're just like a big group of friends. It's a real good laugh. Um, the, obviously, the big perk of Free Ocean. Brilliant. Um, getting to all... we've So we also get involved. I've got involved in getting to the Welcome Ball. We've been... A group of went to the National MedSoc Committee Conference, which was awesome, meeting MedSocs around the country. Um, yeah, we got to know staff a bit better through planning uh, through planning events yeah it's just really fun and um yeah definitely did it so yeah to finalize it's an amazing role really rewarding really fun and medsoc itself is so much fun to be a part of you're with all your friends you're planning fun things you're shaping your own student experience so yeah definitely get involved Hi, my name's Lily and I've been Vice President for events for the past year on MedSoc Committee. The role involved producing a committee video to be shown to freshers on their first day, sorting out stash for committee, getting loads of discounts for our MedSoc card holders and also organising sponsorship for our big events such as the Winter Ball. There are also loads of general committee roles that everyone gets involved in, regardless of their position. For example, during welfare week, we got behind the stores giving out hot chocolates and donuts, got involved with the charity bake sale, and before our events like the, the winter ball, the summer terrace party, we'd all go to the venue beforehand and help decorate and set up. 
One of the highlights for me was probably going to the Freshers Welcome Ball with committee. It was such a great way to kick off the year and a really good opportunity to meet all the new freshers. We also did a committee Christmas meal, which was really lovely. And more recently, at the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak, we got together to decide and think of ways how we as medical students could support our local community, which was really inspiring to be a part of. Overall, I've had the most amazing year on committee. Thank you, Callum, for being such a great president and everyone else on committee for making it a really successful year. If you're interested in applying and think that you can bring something to committee, please do go for it and best of luck. Hi everyone, I'm Harry Wood and this year I've been Vice President for Activities and Welfare on the MedSoc Committee. The Vice Presidents are mainly expected to support everyone else on committee to ease their workloads whilst also being a voice at meetings. Specifically this year, my job was to help out with Welfare Week and help the President when they became too busy during the year. I really enjoyed the social aspect and meeting new students and staff in the medical school. The best part for me was the events we've hosted and the get-togethers that we've had as a committee. If you're thinking of applying, I'd say you definitely should do because it's great for your CV and you really do make an impact within the medical school. Not to mention that we also get free entry to Ocean and some great discounts at Prism. Thank you very much and I hope you're all keeping well. Hi, I'm Balmy and I was your MedSoc Society's officer for the last year. My role is pretty much what it says in the title. It has everything to do with societies from introducing new ones to keeping up with the ones we've got to even disbanding some. Luckily for us, we had some really active committees last year, so we didn't need to shut any down. However, we did introduce some exciting new ones like MedTech UON, Internal Medicine Society, Dharma Medical Association and Medics Yoga. My role through all of that was to help the groups through the process of application, as well as to decide if MedSoc was going to affiliate to them. I was also responsible for checking in with the existing societies regularly to speak to them about their plans for the upcoming months and ensure that they were staying active, as well as helping them with their advertisement. Finally, I was responsible for ensuring that committee members got the recognition they deserved by issuing certificates for them. Something that I specifically tried to bring to this role over the last year was the MedSoc Spotlight on Societies, where we take to our social media regularly to speak about a different society and the incredible work that they were doing. Um, I'd say if you're someone that's organized and really good at the behind the scenes admin work, then this is a role that you should definitely consider applying for. Uh, the other really fun thing about being on society is that you get to see all the behind the scenes of the major events on the MedSoc calendar and help out with them, which is something that I really enjoyed over the lo this last year. It's a really fun and supportive committee to be a part of. So if you're even considering applying, I'd say definitely do it. And feel free to message me on Facebook if you have any more questions. Everyone, my name's Callum and I was the MedSoc Sports Officer this academic year. So being a part of MedSoc was a great experience and I would definitely encourage anyone thinking about going for a position to just go for it. Uh, so as sports officer next year, your main responsibility will be organising the annual medics varsity against Leicester Medical School, which is due to be held in Nottingham next year. This will basically involve liaising with Leicester uh, and all of the medics sports societies to try and set a date, hiring out all of the pitches from David Ross or from elsewhere, and then working with your social sex uh, and local nightclubs to organise the night out afterwards. So as a committee this year, we found on MedSoc that everything runs a little bit smoother if every member chips in to help out wherever they can. So um, if you do go for this role, be prepared to get involved in tasks that aren't strictly assigned to your role as well. Uh, and finally, being on MedSoc has involved me in a lot of events I wouldn't otherwise be involved in. And it's given me many opportunities for personal development, uh, as well as going to the National MedSoc Conference and uh, lots of balls that I wouldn't have otherwise gone to. Um, and it's also given me lots of hilarious memories along the way. So if you have any other questions about what the role involves, feel free to drop me a message. Uh, stay safe, guys, and good luck. Hi, we're the Social Sex. Uh, I'm Grace. Uh, I'm Max. Uh, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what the role encompasses. Uh, so obviously... As a social sec, your main priority is to organise uh, socials and things throughout the year for people to do. That's in every single year of uh, the med school, one up to five. Um, and also you're involved with organising like, after parties for all of the balls and events and things as well. Uh, you also have a role in uh, running the social media and competitions and things like that on social media. 
Yeah, so some of the main socials we've done this year have been Summer Terrace Party, Cocktail Party, which is the best one, uh, involves all years. I'm sure most of you have been to one, if not many. Um, we did the after parties for Welcome Ball, Winter Ball and Halfway There Ball. We've done bar crawls and post-formative bashes. And we did have a trampoline social organised, but unfortunately fell through due to coronavirus. Yeah, a bit gutted about that one. Uh, we're now going to talk about a couple of skills that uh, are kind of important for being a social tech. Uh, the first one is confidence. Uh, quite often you'll have to stand up in big groups in front of big groups of people, whether that's in lecture theatres, uh, at events, shout over people on bar crawls or, or whatever. So you need to be confident and happy talking in front of people. Um, and also sometimes making a bit of a fool of yourself when you're doing charity events and things. You know, like you're, you're one of the recognisable faces in MedSoc. So you need to be, be happy to be seen around a lot. Um, you need to be quite imaginative as well when it comes up with, uh, like coming up with new socials and, uh, and ideas and things like that. Um, and you also need to be good at working with people. Um, so, you know, you need to be a good listener, good communication, that sort of thing. So that's not just the other social sec, um, but also other people in committee and also uh, sort of people in uh, the, the clubs and, and businesses that we work with as well throughout the year. Yeah, so you need to be a good leader as well as being able to work in a team. So that's really important to have that balance. Um, you need to have good organisation skills because uh, there is a little bit of work behind the scenes in doing event forms um, and safety forms, that sort of thing, risk assessments. So being able to keep on top of that and keep to a time frame. Um, negotiation skills are really important as well. Um, in working with some of the vendors and club promoters in town, making sure you're getting the best deal possible so that you can keep ticket prices low and that sort of thing and making the event really what you want it to be and the best it can be. So that's really important. Uh, so now we're going to go on to why should you run for social sec? Um, one of the first like big things you get from it, it's a very sociable role. Um, you know, you get to know people in all five years of medicine. You get to know staff in the uh, in the med school as well when you get them along to events and things. And, you know, you, you've you got to be quite a chatty person and happy to put yourself out there. Um, but it's very rewarding in the sense of the social side of things as well. Um, and, you know, being on committee uh, with MedSoc is a, it's a really good chance to learn a lot of new skills about being on committee um, and organising events and things like that. Um, and working alongside the other committee members through their jobs too. Yeah, um, and as we've mentioned already, you get a good working relationship um, with uh, external people, um, so club promoters and that sort of thing, which really builds upon the skills you're going to need to be working in a workplace. Um, so that's really important. Also, it looks really good on your CV because you're going to be social sec for the biggest society on campus um, for over a thousand people. So that shows really good. Uh, leadership skills teamwork and organization skills we have mentioned before but it just looks really good on your cv it's something extra that you can talk about uh yeah one one other massive thing about being on a uh, sort of medsoc committee you get a chance to go to the annual medsoc conference uh which is where for one weekend all of the medsocs in the uk um converge on one city uh and next year we're actually going to be hosting it in, in nottingham uh, we're very excited about that um the whole weekend is kind of you get a nice black tie dinner um, and you get a chance to kind of discuss uh, and talk about all of the different maybe problems or like solutions and ideas and things that you have on in your medsoc with all of the other ones. So we learn quite a lot from other medsocs as to how they approach things like welfare or sports or uh, events and things as well. So uh, you also get some cool stash. Um, and we're, we're kind of repping a couple of the bits of stash here. So that's cool. Yeah, the medsoc conference was the best weekend ever. Just saying that. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything. So thanks for listening. If you have any questions about the role or just generally, um, if you're thinking of going for it, just drop either of us a message. You'll find us on Facebook. Um, and yeah, run for social sec. You have nothing to lose and it's the best fun. It is okay. a lot of fun. Yeah. Good luck. Bye. Hi, my name is Arthur Alster. I've been the MedSoc Charities Officer this year. It's a really fun role with loads of opportunities to get involved in lots of different things. Uh, the year starts off with the half marathon, which uh, I and a few other people uh, got involved in. It's a really fun day. Uh, you don't have to do it particularly fast. Uh, it raises loads of money for charity. 
The second thing we did was the ab sale. Again, loads of people got involved. It's off the QMC. Really scary, but really fun. Uh, third thing is you have to arrange the medic's photograph. Again, quite easy. You just have to contact the photographer, uh, get that sorted, deliver the photos and give them out uh, when they get arrived. And then after that, really, it's up to you. You can do pub quizzes, bake sales. You can do as much or as little as you want. I tried to do quite a lot. I think we raised about £4,000 overall this year, which is brilliant because that's all going to Nottingham Children's Hospital and they can hopefully do quite a lot with that. We have a few meetings throughout the year with uh, the contact we've got at Nottingham Children's Hospital, who's really good. They help loads. They give you whatever you need, buckets, balloons, running vests, whatever. It's a really fun role. And I'd fully recommend applying if you're even slightly interested because I guarantee you'll have a great time. Hi, my name's Haya and I was this year's publicity sec. My role included creating this year's bedpans and dipsticks, which is a little guide for incoming freshers to read. And I tried to make it a lot more vibrant and engaging compared to previous years. I also worked really closely alongside Maddie and the social sex to create posters and Facebook banners um, for all the MedStock events that we had coming up this year. Being on MedSoc has been so much fun, it's been so incredibly rewarding, I've made so many new friendships um, and I've had so much fun going to events with everyone and I hope next year's publicity sec has as much fun as I did this year. So the role of sponsorship officer was unfilled this year, hence I am making a video about the role. Um, but it is an extremely important role um, on committee as you are essentially responsible for a lot of the society's monetary income. Um, so this involves reaching out to all of our current sponsors, so people like the MDU, Wesleyan, um, etc. and maintaining that relationship with them in terms of what they give us each year uh, financially to support our society. Not only that, it's about contacting and um, thinking of new sponsors for our society, uh, not just in terms of people that will donate money to us each year, but um, potential sponsors for the MedSoc card, so discounts around Nottingham. Um, and on top of that as well, it's also um, about sponsors for individual events. So when it comes to um, Halfway Ball and Winter Ball, for example, uh, we will actually reach out to sponsors for people to actually sponsor some of that event itself and that is a big part of um, the, the success of the balls because a lot of budget goes into them so we need to make up income in other ways and sponsorship is a huge huge part of that so you're an integral member of the um, committee and your role is massively important in keeping the society going but it is a really really enjoyable role we have uh, this year we've absorbed the role into um, the role of vice president so lily marable has done quite a lot of sponsorship work this year and she's done a brilliant job at it and it's a really good way to not only learn a bit more about the logistical side of funding a society but also the contacts that you get are fantastic you manage to communicate with various different um, sponsorship companies and medical related companies and you get some really really good contacts so if you're considering applying please drop me a message or drop Lily a message and we'll be able to explain a bit more about what it involves. So website and communications role this year was left unfilled. However, it is a very exciting role. Um, so there are two big halves really to the role, one being website and the other being communications. So firstly, within the website half of the role, uh, the last um, website communications officer did a fantastic job of establishing a brand new MedSoc website, which is all designed and all set up. However, we weren't able to put a lot of focus on it this year because the role was left unfilled. So whoever fills the role this year has a very exciting job in the fact that they get to adapt and finalise this shiny new website, ready to become the new face of MedSoc in terms of our publicity and our advertisement and our communication with our students. Um, as well as that, there is the communications half of the role. So this involves being the person that oversees all of our social media channels. So that includes our Facebook messaging inbox, 
our um, Instagram DMs and our email accounts as well because we get contacted by a large variety of people from medical students to external suppliers to sponsors and it's really important that someone is able to collate all of that information and communicate it to committee. So the website communications role is a very important role to committee and it's a great way of getting involved in MedSoc if you want to do more of an admin side role um, but still be involved in committee. So I would definitely advise applying if you have the skills and you are interested. Hi, I'm Carr and I'm your international rep for this year. And uh, I'm just making this video to outline the roles and responsibilities for my position for anyone who's interested in applying. Uh, so one of the two main things you need to do is um, have a presentation during the International Student Welcome Day and uh, also have a Q&A session, which you uh, do yourself. Uh, and this is just for any students who are interested in coming to the University of Nottingham, as well as their parents, if they have any questions uh, about uh, student life here and the university experience in general. As well as this, you do another presentation for um, uh, students um, coming for their interviews uh, from overseas. These tend to be around the same time, so you, you have another sort of Q&A session and presentation then. Um, but more importantly, uh, throughout the year, you act as a point of contact for international students, uh, just a person they can liaise with, uh, with more specific questions for someone who has a similar experience to them. Uh, this is particularly important for um, newly coming students because they have so many questions about the university ex experience, um, what halls they should apply to, what they should buy before coming, what the social life's like. Um, so you, you kind of help them fill in those questions as well as the various anxieties that they might have. Um, as well as this, this year I had the opportunity to help the university with a paper uh, which outlined the support that the university offers uh, medical students in particular. So I've been working on that as well, which has been super interesting. Um, but this must be said for all MedSoc roles is that MedSoc is, is like a family. Uh, so you don't necessarily always focus just on your role, but help out others as much as you can. Uh, you know, especially when it comes to organization of big bowls, such as the Winter Bowl, uh, you need all hands on deck and everyone helping out with the organization. And that's always super fun and super interesting as well. Um, so if you are interested in applying, I'd say definitely go for it. Uh, it's been a really vital part of my university experience so far. I've enjoyed it a lot and it, it becomes somewhat like a family. So I wish anyone and everyone applying best of luck. And uh, yeah, welcome to MedSoc. My name's Kareen and I'm the BME MedSoc rep. The main focus um, so far um, has been to feel like the events um, created by MedSoc are felt to be more um, inclusive across the board, um, not only to BME students, but also to students of different faiths and things like that. Um, inclusivity as well as intersectionality are really important parts of this role. Because just from the short time that I've done this role, I've been lucky enough to meet so many great people and so many other students who are really passionate about the same topics as me. And we've really been able to um, do some great things and actually make some changes which I hope will be long lasting within the university. And together with uh, the great people on the committee uh, was to organize the first um, BME forum. Um, so this forum, the topic of this um, first forum was actually the halfway there ball. And we tried to make improvements to that in order to make it more inclusive um, to BME students. And also our second uh, BME education meeting. And that meeting was something that was done um, as a way to bridge the gap between staff within the medical school and also um, BME students across different stages of their medical career. With the university recently signing um, the ECU Race Equality Charter, um, this just means a lot of great things and a lot of opportunities um, for BME students to actually um, feel more um, included within kind of all aspects of the medical school experience. Uh, it's really important that you communicate with the other student group, the ACMN, the Afro-Caribbean Medics Network, um, the Iman SOC, um, as well as the BME Medics. Um, this is just to mention a few. 
there was an event that I was putting together in association with MedSoc and it was called the Women in Healthcare Conference. Um, and a lot of you may have seen a little bit about it on social media already. And of course it has to be postponed um, because of the recent event. And proportionately, women are not seen enough. And not only that, um, women of colour as well um, and BME women are not represented as much as we should be in the leadership roles um, within the healthcare system. Um, so just a little shameless plug, uh, when we do re-advertise this event, um, I will be messaging all of you uh, to hopefully come. Hi, I'm Pascal. Myself and Sid have been the second year reps for the MedSoc committee in the past year. We both really enjoyed the role. Your main job is to ensure that every first and second year has a really great time in their preclinical phase. And this is done by all, helping organise events, assisting the committee where you can, and being a point of contact for all first and second years. Big events include the Welcome Ball, which was my personal highlight of my time in the role. Really great seeing all the freshers have a fabulous time together in their first big social. And also Boat Party, which unfortunately couldn't go ahead this year, but proved to be very popular. And I'm sure it'll be a great successful event in the future. Hey guys, I'm Sid, the other MedSoc second year rep. So also involved in the role is the responsibility of sorting out the medic parenting scheme. So basically matching up every brand new fresher with a second year medic parent. It's a really, really fun and rewarding role um, as you'll be responsible for sorting out everyone's medic families. And at the start of the year, you'll be able to announce to everyone who their new medic families are in a really nice and social event. Also involved in the role is just being the kind of social sec for your year group. Um, being able to organise any sort of events, whether it be clubbing, trampolining, um, movie nights, the scope is really yours. It's a really, really fun and re rewarding role. Um, I'd highly recommend it. Um, I've had so much fun this year. There's a lot of perks to be on committee. So yeah, definitely go for it if you're thinking about it. I'd highly recommend. Hi, I'm Laura and this year I've been the fifth year rep. This role involves representing your year group and what they would like from MedSoc. This year has obviously been an unusual one for everyone, but it's been great to have the support from MedSoc. And they've really helped out with things like graduating on the one show and getting the Serenity Room in place for finals revision. This year, if I'm honest, I haven't done a huge amount. Um, like I said, it's been a strange year and obviously in the run up to February, my main focus was finals. Uh, but one thing I am quite proud of is that I put on an alternative careers evening. Um, so medicine is a huge commitment, as we all know. And sometimes it can be really tough to know what else is out there, particularly if you're not enjoying medicine and you're not sure it's for you. Um, and the whole course seems to be geared up to this one specific pathway. And all the careers evenings are still focused on specialties within medicine. Um I got really good feedback from the event and I really hope that it can become an annual thing. I have also helped MedSoc recently in setting up the COVID aid group and helping get some medics into roles in which they're helping. It's been really good to be able to be part of MedSoc this year as it's been a huge part of my last six years in Nottingham. It's also been really nice to get to know the younger years better and keep up to date with what's been going on throughout the med school. I would really recommend applying and if you're worried about commitment and exams and stuff I wouldn't really worry because the role is whatever you make of it um, and any small amounts of help is always really appreciated so if you want to then go for it apply. <laughs>